hello you all again welcome back to this channel so now this is the next practical that is the third practical of uh, i think statistics so in the previous uh, practicals we have seen the uh, graphical representation graphical representation of a data and why, how we are using ms excel to uh, represent that uh charts right different different charts whether it's a bar chart subdivided by a diagram or pie chart that we have seen now in this particular video we are trying to see that is our next practical it is basically it is not about the uh, graphic representation but it is a summary statistics summary statistics right now we have seen as i think in the our the theoretical syllabus our first paper was about the descriptive statistics in the first we have seen uh, different different our first uh chapter was the data representation so that was so that the reason my practical second was on the base of the data representation and my this one practical that is a third practical it is of the summary statistic which is based on the second unit that is a descriptive statistics in the descriptive statistic what we have seen we have seen what are the uh, different different descriptive uh, again the descriptive statistics we have divided that into two parts right first is the measure of the central tendency and then measure of the dispersion we have seen what is mean right variance mode median right these are the some simple 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 terms that is basically called as the summary statistics and we have to calculate that summary statistics of the particular data by using the excel so how we can do that let's see so first of all i will just share my screen and uh, and we'll see on the excel how we can do the and how we'll actually find out the uh, uh, the answers right of the questions let's see okay so here i am in the that particular uh, uh, excel sheet okay here there these are my some questions so my first question is calculate the summary statistics for the given data okay they have given me some data and i have to find the summary statistics what they are asking me to calculate they are asking to calculate mean minimum observation maximum observation median mode standard deviation variance kurtosis skewness range okay first of all i'll just increase the size okay yeah so minimum observation maximum observation median mode standard deviation variance kurtosis skewness range and all the three quartiles so these are some summary statistics which i want okay now in this practical it is again very much simple than the previous because they in this practical there are only two examples we have to solve okay so first we will concentrate how we can calculate right these particular values so what is the first step the data which is given firstly try to write down that all the data in the row manner okay now here here what i had done i have firstly just write uh, or just type that data okay arrange the data in the row manner okay and for finding the how many values are there i am just doing first i will put the value one here second way here and then i am just simply drag this here and here i can get that there are 14 values are there right 14 values are there now first i have to find mean so here to find out this value there are simple simple commands are there right you just know that excel commands you can simply find out the values right now for mean there is a command which is called as the average so how can i, I find out the mean so it equals to average of this data right average of these all values enter i get the average second i have to find the minimum value so simple again equals to minimum of all these values so i will get the minimum value and here you can see the minimum value in this data is the 58 right yes maximum value similarly we can calculate equals to max of whole data and that should be equals to what 100 here you can see the maximum value is 100 next we have to find median okay so how i can find out the median again simple command is there that is equals to median of median of these values median of these values and enter here i will get the median okay that is 85 
which is the middle most of the division. If you try to this or arrange this data in the ascending order, right? And then you will see the middle most value will be 85. Okay. Then mode equals to mode of. Now here, there must be a mode only. Okay. Just use the command which is mode. Okay. So mode of all this value. Enter. So mode is 93. Right. Why it is 93? Because you can see mode. What is the definition of the mode? It is the most repeated observation. Right. Or the, <laughs> we can say mode is nothing but the, the value which has the maximum frequency. So here you can see 83, right? Every single value is just repeated one time. But <clears throat> 93 is the value which is repeated twice. Twice in the data, right? Here also, here also. That's the reason. It is my most repeated observation. So that is the mode. Then standard deviation. So that will be STD. Here, uh, the command is, is STD EV. Okay, for the standard image. Use that and again select all the data, click enter, you will get the standard image. Variance again same equals to var, v a r tab. Now, here dot p, okay, please just write your command carefully, okay. It is v a r only, it is var of all this value and enter, I will get the variance. Kurtosis equals to. C U R T Kurt. Okay. Of again the values. So that will be my kurtosis. I want the skewness equals to yes key. S K E W. Okay. Skew. Skew of all this value. So that will be my Kurt skewness. Range equals to range of. So what is the range? Range is nothing but the my largest observation minus lowest observation. So that will be range. Here it is showing different, I don't know why. Range. Is there a different formula for range? Okay, now here for calculating range, there is no any command. Okay, so what I'm doing here, now you already know what is the range. It is the largest other observation minus lowest observation. So same formula I'm using here. I'm just uh, do the one thing that is uh, now, you know, we have already find out the maximum observation here, minimum observation here. So we are just using that. So that will be min maximum minus minimum, right? So you can do equals to maximum minus minimum and enter. So that will be my range. Now Q1, it is quartile. Again, this formula is there that is quartile of First, we have to select the array. I have to find the quartile of this value. So that will be my array. Which quartile I have to find? I have to find the first quartile. So I will just put one here. That is the first quartile. And enter. So that will be my first quartile. Again, the same formula equals to quartile. Quartile of all these values. Right. Then second. That is I want to median. Quartile. Second quartile is nothing but the median. Right. Here you can see. By this value, median and second quartile is same. Why? Because second quartile is nothing but the median, right? So that's the reason these values are same. Median and quartile, <clears throat> we can say quartile, second quartile as a median. Okay. Now again, third quartile equals to again quartile of quartile of all these values. And I want the third quartile, right? So third quarter, enter, and this will be my third quarter. And here, is, here I get all the summary statistics, right? These are the values which I want. <clears throat> what are that? Minimum, sorry, mean, I will find it that. Minimum observation, maximum observation, median, mode, standard deviation, variance, kurtosis, skewness, range, and the quarter. The thing is, you must know the commands, right, which we have to use. Okay, pretty much simple question. Now, second question. So, what is second question? The data type they have given me. Okay, they have given me the two players, players A and players B. Okay. And from this, <clears throat> from these players, right? Players A and players B, I have to just find out which player is more consistent in this data set. 
right now for the consistency what 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 is the measure which we are using that is you must know that right what is the measure we are using to find out the consistency to so for consistency we are using the measure that is called as the coefficient of the variation okay coefficient of the variation so that is my one of the major of the deviation right is the one of the measure of the deviation and you also know you also know the for what is the formula of that coefficient of deviation right that is also important now to find out the coefficient of variation we must need to find out first is the arithmetic mean and the second is the standard deviation right if and only if we can find out that coefficient of variation if and only if we, we know the values of mean and the uh, that uh, <clears throat> standard deviation right so same we are <clears throat> finding here again use the same formula now here let's consider this is the average i have to find the average of the player a. again the same thing equals to average of average of these players enter okay player b equals to average of these all values enter okay got it now next variance i have to find so equals to var of tab now again it is dot p right it shouldn't be dot p so it is var of this value <clears throat> now if you find out this value here right you can simply drag here it is automatically calculated for the player b right because the it is using the same formula right and also change the column automatically okay <clears throat> now what is standard deviation it is actually square root of variance right but you can also simply use the for standard deviation it is the yes t d e v right that formula also you can use here enter similarly here also i can use that is a standard deviation of this value equals to this right we know that standard deviation is the square root of the variance let's check right whether this values are correct so if i use square root right so that is sqrt of this value and that will be 27.82 again i am checking the this value similarly equals to square root of 83.7 so that will be also 9.1487 okay now how to find the coefficient of variation okay so there is no any exact formula is given that means there is no any uh, formula right inbuilt formula in excel for the coefficient of variation so we need to calculate that by using the these values average and the standard deviation right so how we are finding so we know that coefficient of variation means what it is what it is standard deviation upon mean standard deviation upon mean okay what it is standard deviation upon mean multiplied by 100 same formula we are using here so it will be equals to standard deviation just select that value right you have to must write that into bracket right because you have to divide it by 100 so that will be just select the standard deviation divided by arithmetic mean okay star 100 enter and that will be my coefficient of the variation similarly we'll just drag this value here and here similarly i will just got the standard uh, sorry coefficient of variation for the player b also so here how i can find out the value of the that means how i find out the consistency and that means which player is more consistent right by using this coefficient of variation i already get the values of the coefficient of variations right now remember the value the value which is lesser lesser the player must be player be, uh, the player will be more consistent if the value is lesser as lesser is the value the player will be more consistent now here we can see that this coefficient of variation is less right 15 point something Sorry. Yeah, so 15.7195, which is less than the 49.68. So that means this coefficient of variation is less than the player A. So that means my player B is more consistent 
than layer B. That is the answer. Right? I can say that layer B is more consistent than layer B. Okay, and that will be the answer of this question. So these are just two examples in this particular practical, right? That we have to do uh, in MS Excel. Now, how you can do these two practicals? Okay, understand. So first of all, you have to perform all these things in the Excel, as I, I, I had explained in this particular video. Okay, you have to perform that all and take the print of this. Okay, the things which we have done. Also, in the uh, that means in the uh, above, right? In the above, above part. You have to just type your name, right? Class, your roll number, right? That should be mentioned on that practical, okay? Because that is important, okay? And you have to also, right? Uh, take this Excel sheet, right? Excel sheet, in which Excel sheet you have performed, you have to show to me that, right? Because you can also take the print of anyone, right? So that should be not considered. And also your mark will be not given if you don't do uh, did this thing like that. Okay, so that is um, what I want to say. So these are just a two simple practical which you have to do by uh, by your own. Okay, simple practical are there. So don't do any cheating, right? Or just don't try to do uh, coffee of another one uh, your friend. Okay, so just do this and also try to complete your theoretical practicals right as soon as possible thank you so much right and all the best for your exam okay